Hi everybody, it's Kristen and happy bonus Sunday haul. At least I really hope this is a bonus Sunday haul. I'm fairly certain that's when it's going up. <laughs> Just kind of depends on how the weekend goes. This is a, I'm filming this a few days before Thanksgiving. So I hope that you guys had a great one if you are in the States. Um, I just have a few, I have, I have some beauty things, I have some fashion things, I have just two things that were sent to me, so I, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I will tell you and also asterisk below any of the things that were sent to me. Okay, first off I have a couple of MAC products, and you will see this in my empties, which I have not filmed yet, so I'm certain it's not up yet. This is the MAC Pe Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage. I'm not sure if that's how you say this, but I had a sample of this and I was really impressed with it. I really, really liked it and I thought, well, I'm just going to get a full size and try it. So it comes with a little pump like this. The sample did not, obviously, but I really liked this. I felt like it wasn't like overly hydrating. I felt like it wasn't, you know, dehydrating. I just, it was really nice and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to give a full... I'm going to get the full size and um, then kind of review that for you. The sample size was a really good size, but I just... I needed more. All right, I also purchased the MAC Upward Lash Mascara. So this is the one that kind of looks like their lipstick tube, which I just think is adorable and cute. Um, actually, you know what, I'm not gonna open this because I'm not ready to open one yet, but I will do, of, co of course you will see that in a Mascara Madness at some point. And I saw Michelle from Makeup MLC talk about this. And of course, anybody I list, I will, anybody I talk about, I will list below. And she really liked it, so I thought I would go ahead and give it a shot. All right, I have, I saw um, Sarah from Print Palace Shine talking about the Merle Norman um, new holiday eyeshadows on her Snapchat. And so when she was working, she works one Saturday a month at Merle Norman, I called and ordered some. Because you can order Merle Norman like online or anything, you have to call a store. So I will list all the information. They do free shipping nationwide, and they will ship internationally, you just pay the shipping. Anyway, so this is their new holiday sort of packaging, and it's kind of has a little, you can't really see, but it's kind of has a little sort of texture to it at any rate. This is in City Lights, and it's, it reminds me of the MAC Extra Dimension or In Dimension Shadows, and I just thought this would be a beautiful, I haven't worn this one yet, I have worn the other one yet, thought it would be a beautiful all over the lid shade. I mean, just stunning. You could actually use that as a highlight, and I think that would be pretty as well. And then the other one that I got, I know, <laughs> is Get Toasty. I mean, come on. Look how stunning that is. So, Get Toasty is just a beautiful, and I have worn this one already. It's just a beautiful taupe. Not as much sheen in your face as the City Lights one, but mm, so, and here's the thing. These wore really well. The MAC Extra Dimension shadows tend to crease a little bit on me. These ones did not at all. Well, that one. I only wore the one, the Get Toasty. Didn't crease at all. It looked exactly at the end of the day as it did at the beginning of the day. And then the last thing I purchased from Merle Norman was the Flawless Effect Liquid Foundation. I talked to Sarah about wanting to, I like a fuller coverage. I like more of a, a satin finish. Um, this is a really kind of cool bottle with a, it's the little things. And has a pump on it. And let me just see. She, I had her kind of color match me. So there's kind of a little thing of it. I, I don't know. I think that's going to be a little bit dark for me. I will do a test usually back here. And that looks like it's going to be a little bit dark for me. So I don't know. I will either exchange that or um, lighten it up with something else. But at any rate, I am excited to give this um, formulation a try. The shade that I, that I have here is L14. So we shall see about that. The thing I purchased from there is the Lilash. I use this. I haven't used this for quite some time. Um, it's probably been a few months since I've been out of the product. And this is a purified eyelash serum. It's tricky to find now. You can't order it online like you used to be able to. But anyway, this is the smaller of the two sizes. I think you, they, but they only carry this size, I believe. Um, but anyway, I got that. Okay, sort of, oh, and they had a gift with purchase. So in the gift with purchase, you got, I think if you purchased two items, you got this. There's a Fat Lash Mascara, a Mascara Primer, a Retinol Night Complex, and I've never used Retin-A or Retinol at all. I actually, I feel like I tried Retin-A once, or Retinol. So I tried a product with Retinol in it, like from Mary Kay or something, and it really broke me out. Like, not in, in blemishes, but in, like it made my skin, it wasn't pretty. 
And then a creamy concealer in medium light warm. So it was a really nice gift to purchase. I don't know how long that goes. You'd have to check with them. All right. The next thing, this I kind of <clears throat> purchased a little bit on a whim. It's so pretty. <laughs> I'll just have a moment here. So this is the Chanel. I think this is the holiday quad. It's been a really long time since I purchased something from Chanel. I've gone back and forth on getting the blush in Jersey. Probably by the time I decide I'm going to get it, it will be gone. Or it's probably gone already with my luck. But this is just so pretty. So it's in Particulaire, I think is the I think is the actual shade. It's, well, boy, I'm not sure. It's sign, like S-I-G-N-E, but I'm sure that's pronounced differently. I don't remember that from my... French life back in the day, um, but particular. So I'll give you a little, and I'll list it below as well. I, I mean, and I haven't swatched this yet because I just am afraid to, but so stunning. I put a picture on Instagram of this. I'm going to attempt a four looks, one palette with a quad. I've, n I've done it with a quint before, but I've never done it with a quad. And so, all right, we're going to swatch this. I'm scared to ruin the seas, but you guys know. Oh, look at that. The Chanel quads can be very hit or miss. Ooh, that dark shade is really... Oh, yeah, buddy. That's one swipe around each shade and then one... <laughs> oh, that's going to be fun. I need to get on that. I may do that really... I may do that next week. I mean, seriously those mm. let me just have a moment i haven't gotten really really excited about a quad in a few <laughs> in a few months now so whew, i can't believe that i've collected myself now um <laughs> i have i have a few sephora things and and i don't a couple of these were vib and a couple of them were not i mean like i bought them during the sale it doesn't really matter right so i've seen lip gloss leslie talk about this dry shampoo for a really long time and i thought you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and give it a shot I was returning something in the other day and so I decided to get this. And this is the Bumble and Bumble Preta Powder. It says it's equal parts dry shampoo, style extender, and volume in a pinch. So this is a powder. I've never used a powder that I can remember for a dry shampoo, so I'm going to give this a shot and I'll report back. Um, I was just trying to look. Oh, there's a little hole. I'm like, how do you get this open? There's a tiny hole. And I was, because I was wondering how in the heck it was going to come out without being a big mess. So that, that's good news. Uh, I also finally purchased, I, during the actual VIB sale, I purchased three things. Yes, three things. So, and this was not one of them. So I've heard Natalie from Flower Room 31 talk about this for so long. I mean, all right, Natalie, we get it. <laughs> this is the Blush and Lovejoy by NARS. And it, I, this is going to be my favorites. I've worn this every single day since I got it, except, of course, for today. That's just the way my luck goes. But I'm going to build it up just a little bit in a larger area so you can see. It really is very, very pretty. Stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I am I'm happy about that purchase. That was a good purchase. I picked up a backup of her. I'm actually out of it. I think I squeezed the last little bit out um, yesterday. The Living Proof PhD. I like this for when I keep my hair, when I blow it out with a round brush. And then I like the, there's a curly one that I like by the same brand that I like when I keep my hair naturally curly. But So I got that and I got this Laura Mercier Full Blown Volume Supreme Lash Building Mascara. I have not heard anybody talk about this. I just thought I'd try it. And this I purchased at a different time. This was not in the sale though, but this is kind of a fun little packaging. So we shall see. We shall see about that. And then lastly, and I did not, I don't think this came out last year or I missed it last year. I can't remember which, but the year before I purchased this similar kit. So it's by Laura Mercier and it's the Le, Le Petit Soufflés. Soufflés. And these are so nice. So in previous years, I feel like there were maybe four of them in larger size, but this is $60, so I got it for 20% off, and it has six of their different body souffles, and I really like them. They are a luxury for sure. This might be a really great gift idea if it's still available. Um, they're just so nice. They're really, really nice. And if I remember correctly, there was only one of the, sh of the scents that I didn't love, and that was the almond coconut milk. But this would be a great gift. Like I said, did I say that? I don't know. It would be a great gift idea. You could split them up between a couple of people or whatever. At any rate. So this is the size. 
Hopefully you can see it makes sense in, in my hand. Let me put it next to something everybody's probably seen. Okay, this is no bearing on anything, but I just want to give you an idea, like some sort. So this is a Mac Fix Plus. That's the, that's the size that it is. And each one of these is two ounces. So I, I love them. I think they smell great. They're a luxury. They're a little gift to yourself or a really nice gift to somebody else. I just think they're a great, they're a great thing. And then lastly, I did a 500 point perk. I think this last time when I just stopped in there this weekend. And this was the Josie Marin, um, Okay, it's Luxury with a Conscience. I had to try to find the name on it. But there are four products in this. It, the Argan Oil, which I've had before, and it's it's fine. I don't love oils on my skin, but it's fine. The Pure Argan Milk Intense Hydrating Treatment, which I've never tried before. The Argan Infinity Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil and Everlasting Honey. Never tried that. And the Argan Enlightenment Illuminizing Veil. I've never tried that either. So I thought this, I don't usually get points or get the perks. They have to be something really good for me to get it. All right, lastly, makeup-wise, and this was sent to me by Sleek. I'm one of the Sleek Beauty bloggers. I think there, there are lots of us. I'm, I'm nothing special. Uh, but they sent me um, a package before. You've seen me actually talk about a few of the products. And this time, the, there are four in here. I'm just going to kind of grab this one out. The first thing in there is this highlighting palette solstice. <laughs> if I can't get it open. And I have, you can see I kind of stuck my finger in one of them. So according to this little sheet, it's ecliptic, subsolar, hemisphere, and equinox. So this is ecliptic, subsolar, hemisphere, and equinox. So this one right here, that's the one ecliptic, is a cream. And then all of the rest of them are... Shadow, but look at that. I mean, there's some serious highlight going on there. I'm gonna try to go above my above my Lovejoy swatch there. So there you go. They, there's some serious pigmentation there. I will play with those and then, of course, let you guys know what I think about that. They sent uh, Glitter Me Intense Sparkling Lips. <laughs> Sparkle. I have some S issues today. Sparkling lip gloss, and this is in Private Jet. So it's. It's really kind of cute packaging. I think Sleek does a pretty nice job with their packaging. Oh, and decent pigmentation. That's really pretty. That'll be fun for the holidays. It's a little more pink than it is red. And it has almost a duochrome sort of. I'm not sure if you, that will come off in the swatch, but very, very pretty. Then they sent a Bear Kissed Illuminator in Casablanca, which is very pink. I'm not sure... I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but ooh, that was that was a lot game. I'm going to try to share it out. So it looks like that. I need to play with that and see the best way to use that. I'm just sharing it out a little bit more. I think that would end up being a really nice, like underneath your blush, put a blush over the top of it to kind of give a little illumination. I don't know. We will have to see about that. And then the last thing is... A eye lust eyeshadow palette in the gold standard. This is interesting. It's a little reminiscent of the a kind of e.l.f. palettes. They have some Prisma something like this. So this is more of a matte finish. It says sleek makeup on it. it. Has a nice mirror. It does have a brush that I took out of it as well. It has kind of an interesting. It has a sponge tip and then it has kind of a not not useful in my opinion. And then two of the shades here. Let me try to show you. These two shades are cream and the other ones are powder. All right, so those are the powder shades, not the cream shades. And actually they have they have names. Let me try. This is Laurent, Coco, Vera and Vivian. So this is one swatch and one swatch. That's what I was trying to do. Laurent, Coco, Vera and Vivian. That Laurent I'm a little disappointed in. And then the two cream shadows, the one that definitely looks like it's going to be better than the other one. I don't know. I don't know about these two. We'll have to see. Margiela, I think is how you would say that. And then Louis. He's pretty too, but it looks pretty, um, like it could come up pretty glittery. So they're in there. So I will play around with those and let you guys know for sure. I'll probably do like a little kind of sleek box, sleek box wrap up or something like that. 
um because i'm really curious about some of these products so i will let you know i have a couple of fashion things um the first thing that i'm going to show you was sent to me and then everything else I purchased and I have a couple of things that I ordered recently from Stella and Dot and or one thing from Stella and Dot and then a, like a shirt a t-shirt anyway if they come in here in the next couple of days I'm going to add that add this that onto the end of this video and if not well I'll just show you it another time but so Hitchcock Madrona is a channel and an Instagram that I have followed for a long time they're a, sh a shop like a boutique shop in Seattle and I love their pieces they are so unique and different and just not something that you see out in the market all the time and I, I just really have enjoyed their pieces for a long time um, and have gone back and forth about getting something well much to my surprise they um, actually the Erica who is the owner I believe contacted me and she watches my videos which I had no idea and she said she she had picked a piece out for me and wanted to send it to me and I was blown away and grateful and and anyway, I've sh I showed this on my vlog channel, but this is the piece. It's a white, I think it's white doozy is how you say it. And I'm going to try to get there. So you can see in the center there um, how beautiful and uh, crystally like. And I mean, it's not like I can explain jewelry with the best of them. but And it's on this, this silver. Uh, it's awesome. I've been wearing this every day. I think I only took it off. I think I only didn't wear it one day when I was all gold out. But sometimes I mix metals, sometimes I don't. But I just love this. It's something that goes with so many things. Um, she said it reminded her kind of, you know, of Wisconsin and cold and ice and snow and stuff. But I, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It's beautiful. Thank you so much to them. Check out their website They and their Instagram. They just have, and their YouTube for that matter. They give great video ideas like on how to layer and, um, you know, how to create a little arm party. I'm more, I usually have more of an arm get together than a party. I usually only have a couple. But at any rate check check out their their stuff they have just really great really great pieces and actually i'm about i'm going to uh, contact them probably next week so i want to get a couple of their gold and silver bangles to attempt an arm party and attempt mixed metals you know what i'm saying okay so i have discovered j jill <laughs> i i had never really been in there before i went in there with um some friends and found this sweater um and <laughs> i just love it i mean it's this kind of oatmeal cable knit. I was wearing this in a video a little while back and kind of has a, a little bit different neck. It's not quite a crew neck. It's not quite a belly neck. I don't know what kind of neck it is, but I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so warm. It means so, so warm. Absolutely love that. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And then I went in there the other day because, you know, <laughs> I found that one. I was like, oh, well, I'm at the ball. I'll just go check it out. And I found this beautiful, I think it's chenille. I think that's how you say it. I don't really know. C-H-E-N-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I don't know. So anyway, this beautiful like winter white. Also very warm. A little bit thinner than that other one. But just, I wore this. Where did I wear this? To church, I guess. And uh, just love it. Love, love, <laughs> love it. It'd be great by itself. Great with a little neck, you know, a long necklace. Great with a scarf. And they had other, diff other shades. There's a beautiful green one I was thinking about getting. And lastly, I'm not really sure exactly how to show you this, aside from to show you the pattern. This is just, I love this sweater so very much. Out of my comfort zone completely. Not something I would normally order um, or wear, but I love it. And I, I, it's got it from Nordstrom, and it's the Lucky brand. And this, it has this sort of like... <laughs> It's a little bit longer. It's a little bit longer in the front than it is in the back. I did an outfit of the day on my vlog channel, um, which I will try to remember to link that video below, and I'll link you know the time in which I did that. I just kind of do it in my mirror in my in my um, bedroom, but I just love this. It was so nice and warm, but not overly so. It was good, kind of you know in. I wore it into the mall and out of the mall. I just I love it. I absolutely love it, and so I really. <laughs> really wanted to share that with you guys. And lastly, I don't know if these are still on sale, but hopefully they are. I got these pair of Sam Edelman boots and I don't know what they're called or anything, but I'll link them below. One of the reasons I got them is I like this. So if I could wear them with a little more ankle jean, you could kind of see this detail. It also has a little bit of a sort of worn toe, which I like that look. Um, 
One of the reasons I got this though is this. I mean, if this isn't built for Wisconsin ice and snow, I don't know what is. So I'll spray these with a suede, you know, protectant spray. And these are going to be great, you know, when I'm going like to and from work and that sort of thing. I just, I love them. And I did wear them the other day, all day, and they were very comfortable. Uh, my feet didn't hurt at all, which is always a good sign. So <laughs> I just thought I would show you my random pair of boots that I bought. And I think, my friends, that that is everything. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that random haul of things that I purchased over the past few weeks. Um, and I, I'm on my face today. Actually, I think I was wearing the same palette in my last video, but I'm wearing the Smashbox Master Class 3 palette. And I am just nothing super exciting. I have vanilla all over the lid. I have the bronzer shade in the crease, and then I have smoke right here in my like to deepen up the crease and I have flush which is the blush in the middle here if I can attempt to do this I have flush right there as my cheeks nothing exciting on my lips today I broke this out because I hadn't worn it at all and I just did a, a rehaul on it this is the NARS velvet lip mac black that but the velvet matte lip pencil in Corella. And then I really like more of a gloss um, with this particular shade. So I took my Camp Cosmetics in Lady Pimp over the top of that. And I believe that that is everything. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye.